Sahih al Bukhari, the book of the times of as Salah, the prayers and its superiority. Chapter on the times of as Salah, the prayers and the superiority of offering Salah, prayers in time. And the statement of Allah, verily, as Salah, the prayer is enjoined on the believers at fixed hours. Quran, chapter 4, verse 103. Narrated Ibn Shahab. Once, Umar bin Abdul Aziz delayed a salah, the prayer, and Urwa bin Az-Zubayr went to him and said, Once in Iraq, Al-Mughira bin Shurba delayed his salah, prayers, and Abu Mas'ud al-Ansari went to him and said, O Mughira, what is this? Don't you know that once Jibril, Gabriel, peace be upon him, came and offered salah, Fajr prayer, and Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, offered salah too. Then he offered salah again, Dhuhr prayer. And so did Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. And again, he offered Salah, Asr prayer. And Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, did the same. Again, he offered Salah, Maghrib prayer. And so did Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. And again, he offered Salah, Risha prayer. And so did Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. And Jibreel, peace be upon him, said, I was ordered to do so, to demonstrate Salah prescribed to you. Umar bin Abdul Aziz said to Urwa, be sure of what you say. Did Jibreel lead Allah's Messenger peace be upon him at the stated times of Salah? Urwa replied, Bashir bin Abi Mas'ud narrated like this on the authority of his father. Narrated Urwa, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, told me that Allah's Messenger peace be upon him used to offer Asr prayer when the sunshine was still inside her residence. That is, the early stated prescribed time of Asr. Chapter on the Statement of Allah And remain always turning in repentance to Him only, and be afraid and dutiful to Him, and perform a salah, iqam a salah, and be not of al-mushrikun, the disbelievers in the oneness of Allah, polytheists, idolaters. Quran, Chapter 30, Verse 31 Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, once a delegation of Abdul Qais came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and said, We belong to such and such branch of the tribe of Rabia, and we can only come to you in the sacred months. Order us to do something good, religious deeds, so that we may take it from you, act on them, and also invite to it our people, whom we have left behind at home. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I order you to do four things, and forbid you from four things. The first four are as follows. 1. To believe in Allah. And then he explained it to them, that is, to testify that La ilaha illallah wa anni Muhammad Rasulullah. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And I, Muhammad, peace be upon him, am the messenger of Allah. 2. Iqam as salah To perform as salah prayers at their stated times. 3. To pay zakat. 4. To give me khumus, that is, one-fifth of the booty to be given in Allah's cause. The other four things which are forbidden are as follows. 1. Al-Dubba 2. Al-Hantam 3. Al-Muqiyar 4. Al-Naqir All these are utensils used for the preparation of alcoholic drinks. Chapter on to give the bayar pledge for Ikam salah the offering of as-salah, the prayers. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with them. I gave the bay'ah, pledge to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, for iqam as-salah, to pay zakat regularly and to be sincere and true to every Muslim, that is, to order them for al-ma'ruf, that is, Islamic monotheism, and all that Islam orders one to do, and to forbid them from al-munkar, that is, disbelief, polytheism, of all kinds and all that Islam has forbidden, to help them and to be merciful and kind to them. See Hadith number 57. Footnote Iqam as salah The offering of as salah the prayers. It means that A. Every Muslim, male or female, is obliged to offer his salah, prayers, regularly, five times a day, at the specified times. 
the male in a mosque in congregation, and the female at home. As the Prophet peace be upon him has said, Order your children for salah, prayers, at the age of seven, and beat them about it at the age of ten. The chief of a family, town, tribe, etc., and the Muslim ruler of a country are held responsible before Allah in case of non-fulfillment of this obligation by the Muslims under his authority. b. To offer the salah, prayers, as the Prophet peace be upon him used to offer them with all their rules and regulations, that is, standing, bowing, prostrating, sitting, as he peace be upon him said, offer your salah, prayers, the way you see me performing them. See hadith number 631. For the characteristics of the prayer of the Prophet peace be upon him, see Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 1. A hadith numbers 735, 736, 739, 756, 823, 824, and 825. Chapter on as The Prayer, is Expiation of Sins. Narrated Shaqiq that he had heard Hudayfa saying, Once we were sitting with Umar, and he said, Who amongst you remembers the statement of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him about the fitna, trial and affliction? I said, I know it, as the Prophet peace be upon him had said it. Umar said, No doubt, you are bold. I said, The al-fitna caused for a man by his wife, money, children, and neighbor is expiated by his as the prayers, as the fasts, charity, and by enjoining al-ma'aruf, Islamic monotheism, and all that Allah has ordained, and forbidden al-munkar, disbelief, polytheism, and all that Allah has forbidden. Umar said, I did not mean that, but I asked about that al-fitna which will spread like the waves of the sea. I, Hurdayfa said, O leader of the faithful believers, you need not to be afraid of it, as there is a closed door between you and it. Umar asked, Will the door be broken or opened? I replied, It will be broken. Umar said, Then it will never be closed again. I was asked whether Umar knew that door. I replied, That he knew it, as one knows that there will be night before the tomorrow morning. I have narrated a hadith that is free from any misstatement. The sub-narrator added that they disputed Masruq to ask Hudayfa about the door. Hudayfa said the door was Umar himself. Narrated Ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him. A man kissed a woman unlawfully and then went to the Prophet peace be upon him and informed him. So Allah revealed and perform a salah, iqam salah at the two ends of the day and in same hours of the night. That is, the five compulsory salah prayers. Verily, the good deeds remove the evil deeds, that is, small sins. Quran, chapter 11, verse 114. The man asked Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, is this instruction for me only? He said, it is for all those of my followers who encounter a similar situation. Footnote, Iqam salah see the footnote of hadith number 524. Chapter on Superiority of Offering a salah The Prayer at the Stated Times Narrated Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, I asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, which deed is the dearest to Allah? He replied, to perform the daily compulsory salah, prayers at their early stated fixed times. I asked, what is the next in goodness? He replied, to be good and dutiful to your parents. I again asked, what is the next in goodness? He replied, To participate in jihad, religious fighting in Allah's cause. Abdullah added, These were told by the Allah's messenger, peace be upon him. And if I had asked more, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would have told me more. See Hadith number 7534, Volume 9. Chapter on the Five Salah, Prayers, are Expiations of Sins. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, I heard Allah's Messenger peace be upon him saying, If there was a river at the door of any one of you, and he took a bath in it five times a day, would you notice any dirt on him? They said, Not a trace of dirt would be left. 
The Prophet peace be upon him added, That is the example of the five daily compulsory salah, prayers, with which Allah blots out, annuls evil deeds. Chapter on not offering a salah, the prayer at its stated fixed time. Narrated Ghailan, Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I do not find nowadays things as it were practiced at the time of the Prophet peace be upon him. Somebody said, Have you not done in a salah the prayer what you have done? Narrated Az-Zuhri that he visited Anas bin Malik at Damascus and found him weeping and asked him why he was weeping. He replied, I do not know anything which I used to know during the lifetime of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him except a salah the prayer and this salah too is lost, not offered as it should be. Chapter on a person in salah, prayer, is speaking in private to his Lord, Allah. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Whenever any one of you offers salah, prayer, he is speaking in private to his Lord. So he should not spit on his right, but under his left foot. Qatada said, He should not spit in front of him, but on his left or under his feet. And Shurba said, He should not spit in front of him, nor on his right, but on his left or under his foot. Anna said, The Prophet peace be upon him said, He should neither spit in the direction of his qibla, nor on his right, but on his left or under his foot. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, The Prophet peace be upon him said, Do the prostration properly, and do not put your forearms flat with elbows touching the ground like a dog. And if you want to spit, do not spit in front, nor on the right. For the person in salah, prayer is speaking in private to his Lord, Allah. Chapter on In Severe Heat, Offer Dhuhr Prayers When It Becomes a Bit Cooler Narrated Abu Huraira and Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, If it is very hot, then offer the Dhuhr prayer when it becomes a bit cooler, as the severity of the heat is from the raging of the hellfire. Narrated Abu Dhar, may Allah be pleased with him, the Murazin, call maker of the Prophet peace be upon him, pronounced the Adhan, call for the Dhuhr prayer, but the Prophet peace be upon him said, let it be cooler, let it be cooler, or said, wait, wait, because the severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire. In severe hot weather, offer a salah, the prayer, when it becomes a bit cooler and the shadows of hillocks appear. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him said, In very hot weather, delay the Luhar prayer till it becomes a bit cooler, because the severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire. The fire of hell complained to its Lord, saying, O Lord, my parts are eating, destroying one another. So Allah allowed it to take two breaths, one in the winter and the other in the summer. The breath in the summer is at the time when you feel the severest heat, and the breath in the winter is at the time when you feel the severest cold. Narrated Abu Sa'id, may Allah be pleased with him, that Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Offer Luhar prayer when it becomes a bit cooler, as the severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire. Chapter on when going on a journey. Pray of Luhar prayer when it becomes cooler. Narrated Abu Dhar al-Ghifari, may Allah be pleased with him. We were with the Prophet peace be upon him on a journey, and the Mu'addin, call maker for a sada, prayer, wanted to pronounce the Adhan, call for the Dhuhr prayer. The Prophet peace be upon him said, let it become cooler. He again, after a while, wanted to pronounce the Adhan, but the Prophet peace be upon him said to him, let it become cooler till we see the shadows of hillocks. The Prophet peace be upon him added, The severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire, and in very hot weather, offer salah, dhuhr, when it becomes cooler. Chapter on the time of dhuhr prayer is when the sun declines, just after midday. Jabir said, The Prophet peace be upon him used to offer the dhuhr prayer just after midday, as the sun declines at noon. Narrated Anas bin Malik, May Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him came out as the sun declined at midday and offered the Dhuhr prayer. He then stood on the pulpit and spoke about the hour, day of judgment, and mentioned great events and matters therein. 
He then said, Whoever likes to ask me about anything, he can do so, and I shall reply as long as I am at this place of mine. Most of the people wept, and the Prophet peace be upon him said repeatedly, Ask me. Abdullah bin Huzafa al-Sahmi stood up and said, Who is my father? The Prophet peace be upon him said, Your father is Huzafa. The Prophet peace be upon him repeatedly said, Ask me. Then Umar knelt before him and said, We are pleased with Allah as our Lord, Islam as our religion, and Muhammad peace be upon him as our Prophet. The Prophet peace be upon him then became quiet and said, Paradise and hellfire were displayed in front of me on this wall just now, and I have never seen a better thing than the paradise, and a worse thing than the hellfire. Narrated Abu al-Minhal, Abu Barza, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet peace be upon him used to offer the Fajr, early morning prayer, when one could recognize the person sitting by him after the Salah, prayer, and he used to recite between 60 to 100 ayat, verses of the Qur'an. He used to offer the Zuhr prayer as soon as the sun declined at noon, and the Asr prayer at a time when a man might go and return from the farthest place in al Madinah and find the sun still hot. The sub-narrator forgot what was said about the Maghrib. He did not mind delaying the Isha prayer to one-third of the night or the middle of the night. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, when we offered the Zuhr prayers behind Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, we used to prostrate on our clothes to protect ourselves from the heat. Chapter on to delay the Zuhr prayer up to the Asr prayer time. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, the Prophet peace be upon him prayed eight raka'ah for the Zuhr and Asr and seven for the Maghrib and Isha prayers in al Madina. Ayyub said, Perhaps those were rainy nights. Anas said, Maybe. See Hadith number 562. Chapter on the time of the Asr prayer. Narrated Hisham that Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, Sunshine used to be still inside my chamber, that is, at the time of Asr prayer. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to offer the Asr prayer when the sunshine had not disappeared from my chamber. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to offer the Asr prayer at a time when the sunshine was still inside my chamber and no shadow had yet appeared in it. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to offer the Asr prayer at a time when the sunshine was still inside my chamber and no shadow had yet appeared in it. Narrated Sayyar bin Salama, I, along with my father, went to Abu Barza al-Aslami, and my father asked him, How Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to offer the five compulsory congregational prayers? Abu Barza said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to offer the Zuhr prayer, which you people call the first one, at midday, when the sun had just declined. The Asr prayer at a time when, after the prayer, a man could go to the house at the farthest place in al Madina and arrive, while the sun was still hot. I forgot about the Maghrib prayer. The Prophet, peace be upon him, loved to delay the Isha, which you call Al-Atama, and he disliked sleeping before it and speaking after it. After the Fajr prayer, he used to depart when a man could recognize the one sitting beside him, and he used to recite between 60 to 100 ayat in the Fajr prayer. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, we used to offer the Asr prayer, and after that, if someone happened to go to the tribe of Bani Amr bin Auf, he would find them offering the Asr prayer. Narrated Abu Bakr bin Uthman bin Sahal bin Hunayf that he heard Abu Umama saying, We offered the Zuhr prayer with Umar bin Abdul Aziz, and then went to Anas bin Malik and found him offering the Asr prayer. I asked him, O oh, uncle, which prayer have you offered? He said, The Asr, and this is the time of the prayer of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, which we used to offer with him. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to offer the Asr prayer at a time when the sun was still hot and high. And if a person went to Al-Awali al madina he would reach there when the sun was still high. Some of Al-Awali of al madina were about four miles or so from the town. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. We used to offer the Asr prayer, and after that, if one of us went to Quba, 
he would arrive there while the sun was still high. Chapter on the Sin of One Who Misses the Asr Prayer Intentionally Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Whoever misses the Asr Salah prayer intentionally, then it is as if he lost his family and property. Chapter on Who Omits Does Not Offer the Asr Prayer Intentionally Footnote The one who does not offer the Asr Prayer intentionally until its stated time is over, and if he offers the prayers after that time, then it is useless. Narrated Abu al-Malih We were with Buraida in a battle on a cloudy day, and he said, Offer the Asr Salah prayer early, as the Prophet peace be upon him said, Whoever omits the Asr Salah, all his good deeds will be lost. Chapter on Superiority of the Asr Prayer Narrated Qais, Jarid said, We were with the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he looked at the moon on a full moon night and said, Certainly, you will see your Lord as you see this moon, and you will have no trouble in seeing him. So if you can avoid missing through sleep or business, etc., a salah, prayer, before the sunrise, fajr, and a salah, prayer, before sunset, asr, you must do so. He then recited Allah's statement and glorify the praises of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before its setting. Qur'an, chapter 50, verse 39. Ismail said, Offer those prayers and do not miss them. Narrated Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Angels come to you in succession by night and day, and all of them get together at the time of the Fajr and Asr prayers. Those who have passed the night with you or stayed with you, ascend to the heaven, and Allah asks them, though he knows everything about you, in what state did you leave my slaves? The angels reply, when we left them, they were offering salah, prayer, and when we reached them, they were offering salah. Chapter on whoever got, or was able to offer only one rakah of the asr prayer before sunset. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, If any one of you got or was able to offer one rakara of the Asr prayer before sunset, he should complete his salah, prayer. If any of you got or was able to offer one rakara of the Fajr prayer before sunrise, he should complete his salah. Narrated Salim bin Abdullah My father said, I heard Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, saying, The period of your stay as compared to the previous nations is like the period equal to the time between the Asr prayer and sunset. The people of the Torah, Torah, were given the Torah, and they acted upon it till midday. Then they were exhausted and were given one Qirat each. And then the people of the Injil, Gospel, were given the Injil, and they acted upon it till the Asr prayer. Then they were exhausted and were given one Qirat each. And then we were given the Qur'an, and we acted upon it till sunset, and we were given two qirad each. On that, the people of both the scriptures said, O our Lord, you have given them two qirad and given us one qirad, though we have worked more than they. Allah said, Have I unsurbed some of your rights? They said, No. Allah said, That is my blessing. I bestow upon whomsoever I wish, or will, or want. Footnote Qirat here symbolizes their reward. Narrated Abu Musa, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him said, The example of Muslims, Jews, and Christians is like the example of a man who employed laborers to work for him from morning till evening. They worked till midday, and they said, We are not in need of your reward. So the man employed another batch and said to them, Complete the rest of the day, and yours will be the wages I had fixed for the first batch. They worked up till the time of the Asr prayer, and said, Whatever we have done is for you. He employed another batch. They worked for the rest of the day till sunset, and they received the wages of the two former batches. See Hadith number 2271, Volume 3. Footnote So this is the similitude of Muslims who accepted Allah's guidance and the teachings of His Messenger, peace be upon Him. 
and the similitude of the Jews and Christians who distorted and corrupted their book and disbelieved in the Prophet peace be upon him who came after Isa, Jesus. We notice that the Jews and Christians referred to in this hadith are different from those referred to in hadith number 532, for the latter were believers and died before the advent of Muhammad peace be upon him, and this is why they are rewarded, while the rewards of the former were given to the Muslims. Chapter on the time of the Maghrib prayer, evening prayer. Allah said, A person who is sick can offer Maghrib and Isha prayers together. Narrated Rafi bin Khadij, may Allah be pleased with him, we used to offer the Maghrib prayer with the Prophet peace be upon him, and after finishing the Salah prayer, one of us may go away and could still see as far as the spot where one's arrow might reach when shot by a bow. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with them, the Prophet peace be upon him used to offer the Dhuhr prayer at midday and the Asr at a time when the sun was still bright, the Maghrib after sunset at its stated time and the Isha at a variable time. Whenever he saw the people assembled for Isha prayer, he would offer Salah prayer earlier and if the people delayed, he would delay the Salah and they or the Prophet peace be upon him used to offer the Fajr prayer when it was still dark. Narrated Salama, may Allah be pleased with her. We used to offer the Maghrib prayer with the Prophet peace be upon him when the sun disappeared from the horizon. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet peace be upon him offered seven raka'ah together and eight raka'ah together. See Hadith number 543. Chapter on whoever disliked to call the Maghrib prayer as the Isha prayer. Narrated Abdullah al Muzani. May Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Do not be influenced by Bedouins regarding the name of your Maghrib prayer, which is called Isha by them. Chapter on the mention of Isha and Atama and whoever took the two names as one and the same. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him said, The most difficult and the hardest salah prayers for the hypocrites are the Isha prayer and the Fajr prayer. He added, Had they known what is the reward of the Atama, Risha, and the Fajr prayers, they would have come to attend them even if they had to crawl. Few discussions about Maghrib. Atama, that is, Risha, which are merely repetition of the topic of this chapter, are mentioned here in the Arabic text. Narrated Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him. One night, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, led us in the Risha prayer. And that is the one called al atama by the people. After the completion of the prayer, he faced us and said, Do you know the importance of this night? Nobody present on the surface of the earth tonight will be living after 100 years from this night. See Hadith number 601. Chapter on the time of the Isha prayer. If the people get together, pray earlier, and if they come late, delay it. Narrated Muhammad bin Amr. We asked Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with them, about the Salah prayers of the Prophet peace be upon him. He said, He, peace be upon him, used to offer Dhuhr prayer at midday, the Asr, when the sun was still hot, and the Maghrib after sunset, at its stated time. The Isha was offered early if the people gathered, and used to be delayed if their number was less, and the morning prayer, Fajr, was offered when it was still dark. Chapter on Superiority of the Aisha Prayer Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, once delayed the Aisha Prayer, and that was during the days when Islam still had not spread. The Prophet, peace be upon him, did not come out till Umar informed him that the women and children had slept. Then he came out and said to the people in the mosque, None amongst the dwellers of the earth has been waiting for it. Aisha Prayer, except you. Narrated Abu Musa, may Allah be pleased with him, my companions who came with me in the boat and I landed at a place called Baqir Buthan. The Prophet peace be upon him was at al Madina at that time. One of us used to go to the Prophet peace be upon him by turns every night at the time of the Isha prayer. Once I along with my companions went to the Prophet peace be upon him and he was busy in some of his affairs. So the Isha prayer was delayed to the middle of the night. He then came out and led the people in Salah, prayer. After finishing from the Salah, he addressed the people present there, saying, 
Be patient. Don't go away. Have the glad tidings. It is from the blessing of Allah upon you that none amongst mankind has offered salah at this time save you. Or said, none except you has offered prayer at this time. Abu Musa added, So we return happily after what we heard from Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. Chapter on what is disliked about sleeping before the Isha prayer. Narrated Abu Barza, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him disliked to sleep before the Isha prayer and to talk after it. Chapter on sleeping before the Isha prayer if one is overwhelmed by it. Sleep. Narrated Ibn Shihab from Urwa. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, Once Allah's Messenger peace be upon him delayed the Aisha prayer till Umar reminded him by saying, The Salah, prayer, the women and children have slept. Then the Prophet peace be upon him came out and said, None amongst the dwellers of the earth has been waiting for it, the prayer except you. Urwa said, Nowhere except in al Madina the prayer used to be offered in those days. He further said, the Prophet peace be upon him used to offer the Aisha prayer in the period between the disappearance of the twilight and the end of the first third of the night. Narrated Nafir, Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, said, Once Allah's Messenger peace be upon him was busy at the time of the Aisha, so the prayer was delayed, so much so, that we slept and woke up and slept and woke up again. The Prophet peace be upon him came out and said, None amongst the dwellers of the earth, but you have been waiting for a salah, the prayer. Ibn Umar did not find any harm in offering it earlier or in delaying it, unless he was afraid that sleep might overwhelm him and he might miss the prayer. And sometimes he used to sleep before the Aisha prayer. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, once Allah's Messenger peace be upon him delayed the Aisha prayer to such an extent that the people slept and got up and slept again, and got up again. Then Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, stood up and reminded the Prophet peace be upon him of the prayer. Allah said, Ibn Abbas said, The Prophet peace be upon him came out as if I am looking at him at this time, and water was trickling from his head, and he was putting his hand on his head, and then said, Hadn't I thought it hard for my followers, I would have ordered them to offer salah, prayer, Isha prayer, at this time. I asked Allah for further information, how the Prophet peace be upon him had kept his hand on his head, as he was told by Ibn Abbas. Allah separated his fingers slightly, and put their tips on the side of the head, brought the fingers downwards, approximating them till the thumb touched the lobe of the ear, at the side of the face, at the temple, and towards the beard. He neither slowed nor hurried in this action, but he acted like that. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Hadn't I thought it hard for my followers, I would have ordered them to offer salah at this time. Chapter on time of the Isha prayer is up to the middle of the night. And Abu Barza said that the Prophet peace be upon him used to prefer to pray Isha late. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him delayed the Isha prayer till midnight. And then he offered the prayer and said, The people offered salah, prayer, and slept. But you have been in prayer as long as you have been waiting for it, the prayer. Anas added, as if I am looking now at the glitter of the ring of the Prophet peace be upon him on that night. Chapter on Superiority of the Fajr, Early Morning Prayer Narrated Jarir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with them. We were with the Prophet peace be upon him, and he looked at the moon on a full moon night, and said, You will certainly see your Lord as you see this moon and there will be no trouble in seeing him. So if you can avoid missing through sleep, business, etc., a prayer before the rising of the sun, Fajr, and before its setting, Asr, you must do so. He, the Prophet peace be upon him, then recited the following verse, And glorify the praises of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before its setting. Quran, chapter 20, verse 130. Narrated Abu Musa, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Whoever offers the two cool salah, prayers, asr and fajr, will enter paradise. Chapter on Time of the Fajr, Early Morning Prayer Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. Zayd bin Thabit said, We took the sahur, the meal taken before dawn while saum, fasting is observed. 
with the Prophet peace be upon him, and then stood up for the early morning salah, prayer. I asked him how long the interval between the two, suhur and salah was. He replied, the interval between the two was just sufficient to recite 50 or 60 ayat. Narrated Qatada, Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet peace be upon him and Zayd bin Thabit took the sahur together, and after finishing the meal, the Prophet peace be upon him stood up for a salah, the prayers, Fajr prayer. I asked Anas, how long was the interval between finishing their sahur and starting a salah? He replied, the interval between the two was just sufficient to recite 50 ayat, verses of the Qur'an. Narrated Sahal bin Sa'ad, may Allah be pleased with him. I used to take the sahur meal with my family and hasten so as to catch the fajr, early morning prayer, with Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. The believing women, covered with their veiling sheets, used to attend the fajr prayer with Allah's messenger peace be upon him. And after finishing the salah, prayer, they would return to their homes, and nobody could recognize them because of darkness. Chapter on whoever got or was able to offer one rakara of the Fajr prayer in time. One rakara means one standing, one bowing, and two prostrations. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Whoever got or was able to offer one rakara of the Fajr prayer before sunrise, he got the morning, Fajr prayer, and whoever got or was able to offer one rakara of the Asr prayer before sunset, he got the Asr prayer. Chapter on whoever got or was able to offer one rakara of a prayer in time. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Whoever got or was able to offer one rakara of a salah, the prayer, in time, he got that salah, prayer. Chapter on what is said regarding the offering of a salah, the prayers between the Fajr prayer and sunrise. Narrated Umar, the Prophet peace be upon him forbade offering a salah, the prayer, after the Fajr prayer, till the sun rises and after the Asr prayer, till the sun sets. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. Some people told me the same narration as above. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Do not offer salah, prayer, at the time of sunrise and at the time of sunset. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, If the edge of the sun appears above the horizon, delay a salah, the prayer, till it becomes high. And if the edge of the sun disappears, delay a salah till it sets. This appears completely. Narrated Abu Huraira, May Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, forbade two kinds of sales, two kinds of dresses, and two salah, prayers. He forbade offering salah after the Fajr prayer till the rising of the sun, and after the Asr prayer till the setting of the sun. He also forbade ishti'mal al and al-ihtiba in one garment in such a way that one's private parts are exposed towards the sky. He also forbade the sales called munabaza and Mulamasa. See Hadith number 2144 and 2145, Volume 3. Chapter on One Should Not Try to Offer a Salah, the Prayer, Just Before Sunset. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, None of you should try to offer a Salah, the Prayer, at sunrise or sunset. Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him. I heard Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, saying, There is no salah, prayer, after the morning prayer, fajr prayer, till the sun rises, and there is no prayer after the asr prayer, till the sun sets. Narrated Mu'aviyah, may Allah be pleased with him, You offer a salah, prayer, which I did not see being offered by Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, when we were in his company, and he certainly had forbidden it, that is, to raqa after the asr prayer. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, forbade the offering of two salah, prayers. One, after the fajr, early morning prayer, till the sun rises. Two, after the asr prayer, till the sun sets.
Chapter on whoever did not dislike to offer optional prayers except after the compulsory prayers of Asr and Fajr only. This has been narrated by Umar, Ibn Umar, Abu Sa'id, and Abu Huraira. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. I offer salah as I saw my companions offering them. I do not forbid offering of prayers at any time during the day or night except at sunset and sunrise. Chapter on to offer the missed salah, prayers, and the like after the Asr prayer. And narrated Ummu Salama, may Allah be pleased with her. The Prophet peace be upon him offered to Raqqa after the Asr prayer and said, Some people of the tribe of Abdul Qais made me busy and did not let me offer the two Raqqa after the Zuhr prayer. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. By Allah, who took away the Prophet, the Prophet peace be upon him never missed them. To Raqqa after the Asr prayer till he met Allah, and he did not meet Allah till it became heavy for him to offer a salah, the prayer, while standing. So he used to offer most of the salah, prayers while sitting. She meant the two raka after Asr. He used to offer them in the house and never offered them in the mosque, lest it might be hard for his followers, and he loved what was easy for them. Narrated Hisham's father, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, addressing me, said, O son of my sister, the Prophet peace be upon him never missed two prostrations, that is, raka after the Asr prayer in my house. Footnote. See chapter number 33. After the hadith number 589. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, never missed two raka before the Fajr prayer and two raka after the Asr prayer openly and secretly. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Whenever the Prophet, peace be upon him, came to me after the Asr prayer, he always offered two raka. Footnote. See chapter number 33 after the hadith number 589. Chapter on to offer the Asr prayers earlier on a cloudy day. Narrated Ibn Abu Malih, I was with Buraida on a cloudy day, and he said, Offer the Asr prayer earlier, as the Prophet peace be upon him said. Whoever omits does not offer the Asr prayer, all his good deeds will be lost. See Hadith number 552 and 553. Chapter on the Adhan for the Salah, Prayer, after its stated time is over. Narrated Abi Qadada. One night, we were traveling with the Prophet peace be upon him, and some people said, We wish that Allah's Messenger peace be upon him would take rest along with us during the last hours of the night. He said, I am afraid that you will sleep and miss the Fajr prayer. Bilal said, I will make you get up. So all slept, and Bilal rested his back against his Rahila and he too was overwhelmed by sleep and slept. The Prophet peace be upon him got up when the edge of the sun had risen and said, O Bilal, what about your statement? He replied, I have never slept such a sleep. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Allah took your souls when he wished and returned them to you when he wished. O Bilal, get up and pronounce the adhan for a salah, the prayer. The Prophet peace be upon him performed ablution and when the sun came up and became bright, he stood up and offered the salah, prayer. Chapter on whoever led the people in salah, prayer, after its time was over. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with them. On the day of Al-Khandaq, the battle of trench, Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, came cursing the disbelievers of Quraysh, after the sun had set and said, O Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, I could not offer the Asr prayer till the sun was about to set. The Prophet peace be upon him said, By Allah, I too have not offered the Salah prayer. So we turned towards Uthan, and the Prophet peace be upon him performed ablution. And we too performed ablution and offered the Asr prayer after the sun had set. And then he offered the Maghrib prayer. Chapter on who forgets a Salah prayer should offer it when he remembers it and should not repeat anything except that particular prayer. Ibrahim said, If one missed unintentionally one prayer twenty years ago, then he should offer only that salah, prayer. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet peace be upon him said, If anyone forgets a salah, prayer, he should offer that prayer when he remembers it. There is no expiation except to offer the same. Then he recited, and perform a salah, 
إقام الصلاة for my that is Allah's remembrance Quran chapter 20 verse 14 Chapter on the Qadha of Prayers Qadha means to perform or offer or do a missed religious obligation after its stated time. Narrated Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him. Ramar came cursing the disbelievers of Quraysh on the day of Al-Khandaq, the Battle of Trench, and said, I could not offer the Asr prayer till the sun had set. Then we went to Buthan, and he offered the Asr prayer after sunset, and then he offered the Maghrib prayer. Chapter on what is disliked about talking after the Isha prayer. Narrated Abu Minhal, My father and I went to Abi Barza al-Aslami, may Allah be pleased with him, and my father said to him, Tell us how Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to offer the compulsory congregational salah, prayers. He said, He used to offer the Zuhr prayer, which you call the first prayer, as the sun declined at noon. The Asr, at a time when one of us could go to his family at the farthest place in Al-Madina, while the sun was still hot. The narrator forgot what Abu Barza had said about the Maghrib prayer, and the Prophet peace be upon him preferred to offer the Isha prayer late, and disliked to sleep before it or talk after it. And he used to return after finishing the morning prayer, Fajr prayer, at such a time when it was possible for one to recognize the person sitting by his side, and he, the Prophet peace be upon him, used to recite sixty to hundred ayat, verses of the Qur'an in it. Chapter on Talking About the Islamic Jurisprudence and Good Things After the Isha Prayer Narrated Qurra bin Khalid that once he waited for Al-Hasan and he did not show up till it was about the usual time for him to start his speech. Then he came and apologized, saying, Our neighbors invited us. Then he added, Narrated Anas, Once we waited for the Prophet peace be upon him till it was midnight or about midnight, he came and led us in the prayer. And after finishing it, he addressed us and said, All the people have offered their prayers and then slept, and you had been in prayer as long as you were waiting for it. Al-Hassan said, The people are regarded as performing good deeds as long as they are waiting for doing good deeds. Al-Hassan's statement is a portion of Anas Hadith from the Prophet peace be upon him. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, the Prophet peace be upon him offered one of the Isha prayer in his last days and after finishing it with Taslim, he stood up and said, Do you realize the importance of this night? Nobody present on the surface of the earth tonight would be living after the completion of 100 years from this night. The people made a mistake in grasping the meaning of this statement of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him and they indulged in those things which are said about these narrations. That is, some said, that the day of resurrection will be established after hundred years, etc. But the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Nobody present on the surface of earth tonight would be living after the completion of hundred years from this night. He meant, when that century, people of that century would pass away. Footnote. This was a sign of prophethood. For what Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, was proved, as the last of his companions to die was Abu At-Tufayl, Amr bin Wathila, who died hundred years after the prophecy of the Prophet peace be upon him, and he was hundred and ten years old then. Chapter on to talk with the family and guests after the Isha prayer. Narrated Abu Uthman, Abdurrahman bin Abi Bakr, may Allah be pleased with them, said, A Sufa companions were poor people, and the Prophet peace be upon him said, Whoever has food for two persons should take a third one from them, a Sufa companions. And whosoever has food for four persons, he should take one or two from them. Abu Bakr took three men, and the Prophet peace be upon him took ten of them. Abdul Rahman added, My father, my mother, and I were there in the house. The sub-narrator is in doubt whether Abdul Rahman also said, My wife and our servant, who was common for both my house and Abu Bakr's house. Abu Bakr took his supper with the Prophet peace be upon him, and remained there till the Isha prayer was offered. Abu Bakr, after the prayer, went back and stayed with the Prophet peace be upon him till the Prophet peace be upon him took his meal, and then Abu Bakr returned to his house after a long portion of the night had passed. Abu Bakr's wife said, What detained you from your guests or guest? He said, Have you not served them yet? She said, They refuse to eat until you come. 
The food was served for them, but they refused. Abdurrahman added, I went away and hid myself, being afraid of Abu Bakr, and in the meantime, he, Abu Bakr, called me, O Ghunthar, a harsh word, and also called me bad names and abused me, and then said, Eat, no welcome for you. Then the supper was served. Abu Bakr took an oath that he would not eat that food. The narrator added, By Allah, whenever any one of us, myself and the guests of a Sufa companions, took anything from the food, it increased from underneath. We all ate to our fill, and the food was more than it was before its serving. Abu Bakr looked at it, the food, and found it as it was before serving, or even more than that. He addressed his wife, saying, O the sister of Bani Firas, what is this? She said, O the pleasure of my eyes, the food is now three times more than it was before. Abu Bakr ate from it, and said, That oath was from Satan, meaning his oath, not to eat. Then he took a morsel, mouthful from it, and then took the rest of it to the Prophet peace be upon him. So that meal was with the Prophet peace be upon him. There was a treaty between us and some people, and when the period of that treaty had elapsed, the Prophet peace be upon him divided us into twelve groups, the Prophet's companions, each being headed by a man. Allah knows how many men were under the command of each leader. So all of them, twelve groups of men, ate of that meal, or said something like that.